What is going up guys? We got another new video. We got another one. Okay, so moped video. I know again. Don't worry, car should come soon. Just trying to get this thing out the way. Went so through the harness. Look at this thing. Looks horrible. It was. It was a huge pain in the ass. Um, so all these tape spots that you see are actually where they just stripped the wire back, as you can see, and wrapped a whole like six or seven ground wires on each piece. And they did that with power wires all the way through the harness. It's no wonder why I had so much problems with this one. The other one wasn't like that. They used butt connectors, but I don't know. It just could have been done better. Here's my new simplified harness. This is it. The CBI coil pack, stator, and ignition. There you go. Looks good. Way better than all that. And I'm gonna make a separate harness for all the like for like all the uh, headlights and taillights. And so it's just a lot better. You gotta have a charging circuit so I can run my battery, the CDI to control, you know, the engine and keep it running and all that good stuff. And then uh, you know ignition so I can turn the bike off and uh, have a key so nobody can just randomly turn it off and uh, now I gotta take the engine off so let's get it off so I'll pull this off real quick because it's extremely ugly and I've been waiting to get it on video so yeah I'm, I'm pulling it off all right engine is off check that out it took me literally uh took me like two minutes and 16 seconds about the, the song length of Logic, I'm gone. So, you know, thanks Logic for helping me time that. But I'm gonna lift this up. I got to cut this coil pack bracket off, all these little things, and uh, I gotta cut this off, this whole bracket. Um, I gotta cut this bracket off. I gotta cut this bracket off. Um, all these little tabs, stuff like that. Um, Maybe they're everywhere. And then smooth everything out and get everything ready for CM will fight like clean up all these welds and grind them and you know make everything look pretty. So yeah, let's get into this. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the grinder out and start cutting this. Yeah, we're gonna cut this out first. Let's do it. And another three minutes later we got the whole bracket cut off. Look at this big ugly thing. That was a lot harder than you think guys. You know, like tack welds everywhere. It was a pain. Yep, now I just gotta clean off the weld and we're gonna start cutting off all this weird stuff around here and just try to make the frame as simple as possible so it just looks cleaner. So I'm gonna start. I, mean, I guess we might just cut that off now, this thing. And then we'll cut these off, all of them. And we'll be done that. And then what I'll do is I'll cut them off with the weld so maybe I can remount this. You guys can pick where I pick you know, the coil pack location. And then, uh, yeah, it'll look much better. I'm happy, it's starting to look cool. Let me get back into this. This should show you how hard it was to cut this off. I already got all those tabs cut off in like 30 seconds, no joke. And this thing took way longer. Look at it, it's gonna be so cool. Don't worry, I know I took this brace out, I'm gonna make a bar that goes across it. And then I'm gonna have one that goes across to here. I'm thinking about making it split off and go up to you know, the upper stem. But it's coming out good. It's very hot in here. Got the air conditioner going. It's not, should have started it before I came in here. But I'm gonna look around and see what else I can uh, cut off. This is fun. Not really. I feel bad for the poor little scoot. She's gonna look so much better. All right, back to cutting. I'm gonna get this off. And this off now. Get this one knocked out. This I'm leaving the bar is a bash bar for the engine, but I'm just cutting off all the uh, the center stand bracketing because I'm not going to use one anymore. So I'm gonna get all this chopped off really quick. Okay. It's been a lot of work, but uh, the paint is almost all off. I primed it to kind of see where I was. And now I'm just getting all the primer off and then I'm going to finish up the little welds and stuff and cleaning everything up and shaving everything and then finally ready for its first coat of primer that's actually going to stay on here. And, uh, whew. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. 
Yeah, it looks like it's not a lot, but I, mean, I still gotta do that whole engine. Uh, yeah, uh, so I'm gonna keep on grinding. Got my headphones on, got the drill with the wire wheel. And uh, I've got three more spots to touch up with welds. I've got to figure out if I'm putting that bar across or where I'm putting it to go across. And I've got to put the pegs in. i got to weld the bolts on to mount the pegs so it all even. And, whoo! Yeah. Oh yeah, on the bright side, i got all the uh, the pegs and bolts and the crap I need for this. I've got... I went and bought a new package of wire wheels from Harbor Freight with the drill. And then I got some of this stuff to put the wiring in. I know that worked really good. Well. You know, it kind of looks like the factory, but a little higher quality, a little thicker. This stuff's like paper thin, and it's doubled up too, and it's still that thin. But yeah, so that's what we're going to be using. I got a whole roll of electrical tape. Already got the wiring figured out. This is. Uh, it would have been a lot easier just to put a body kit on it instead of trying to do the whole stripped frame. Yeah, I'm going to keep on grinding. Um, I just want to get this thing done. I want to go riding. So uh, holding me back. It's hot, man. Woo! Woo! All right, guys. It is 100 degrees in here. I got the radiator fan blowing and the air conditioning. Got my mask on. I got the silver done. Now we're getting the first coat of red on, and I just wanted to get a picture. Ooh! Ooh, look at that shit! God damn, dude, this thing looks sick as fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on spraying. I think I'm gonna take these off, so this stays silver. I don't know. Damn, dude. Shit looks fire, man. God damn! Look at this bitch! I can't wait to get the clear on it. Oh, I gotta surprise you. Look at this. Let's put the clear on it. Ooh, the engine mount looks sick. Get some new bushings in there. Alright, I'm gonna keep hitting this shit. I might let it dry for like two hours, go upstairs, chill, it's hot as fuck. I'm gonna get another coat on here. Alright, guys. Oh my god. Ooh, look at that shit, son. Oh my god. God, this thing, like, woo! Woo! Damn. Boy, this should look fire. Woo! I don't even know what to do with myself right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go treat myself and take a break. It should be time to dry anyway. I can hit it with some clear. Oh my god. The boys wanted candy. The boys got the candy. Oh. This ain't no bullshit red paint with clear coat either. This is real candy paint, son. Let me get that flat. Ooh. Look at that candy apple. Oh my god. The flake looks so good. That's exactly what I was going for. This is just silver, metallic, heavy flake, and a red clear coat, and it looks so damn good. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to let this dry for a couple of days and get this video up, show some progress, and you know, if you like what you saw, like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day. Ooh, it looks so goddamn good!